Hi guys, so I came up with another funky thing to do with your um, Cricut if you have one. I had this idea since I love doing the waves. Um, I thought about, I don't know, like some horses coming out of the waves. So I cut, I went in and used some clip art and manipulated it to create a silhouette of horses uh, with the Cricut machine and cut it out of some vinyl and then what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is put that on here do an ocean wave here but overspill over uh, the vinyl and then let it dry a little bit and then peel it away and hopefully hopefully the horse outline will stay so I just wanted to show you uh, I'm gonna put the horses on here. Uh, I think I'm going to put them I think right maybe in the middle-ish. So I know you can't see them so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel it off and then you'll be able to see. <laughs> um, peel the vinyl off here. I can get the sticky part. <laughs> okay, so it's super... oh, there we go. <laughs> so this is the sticky side. Okay. So this is the part that I want on here and for some reason it's super staticky. <laughs> so here's hoping I can get it on without um I might just end up going on wherever I can get it. <laughs> so some people use transfer tape, I thought I would just plop it on. <laughs> uh, without using transfer tape. <laughs> Because it's not super complicated. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I mostly want this edge to be the one that sticks the best. to the canvas. So I'm just going to run my fingernail over it so that it sticks really, really good. Um, you can also put your finger underneath to hold it so that the vinyl sticks really good. So I'm just using my finger as like a support for the canvas. There. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So I'm not too worried about this part because this will be white and I might even maybe peel back some of this because I'd like the wave to kind of come like this and over and be these horses. So We'll see. So this is the other side. Just so you can see, this would be wave, I'm kind of hoping. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you me putting the, um, the vinyl on, and we'll see how this works. <laughs> I've never done this one, so I'm hoping it'll turn out pretty good. Okay, so I think I'm going to trim a little bit off of the bottom here because I would like the wave to kind of come like this and over. So I'm going to trim a bit of the black and pour
pour probably some white right here so it blends in a bit. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. So, I'm just going to peel this up a little bit. And, see this is the other horse's leg here, kind of. <laughs> go. So now I'll just put my finger on the back and kind of push that down. And that's pretty much good to uh, pour on. I hope this works. <laughs> Okay, so for this video I thought I would show you me mixing the paints for this wave. Um, so it might be a long video, but you can always fast forward through the paint mixing. And yeah, let's just give it a whirl. Let me check the time. So basically, move that out. Bunch of cups. I'm going to do a big cup of this is the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. So, because I'm going to use probably a fair bit of white, just pour some in the bottom. And then I've got my flow trawl. I'm just going to mix it. And then add about the same amount of flow troll as the white in there. And then I'm also going to mix up, I have a tube of this silver, so I'm going to mix that up in this cup. So this was number 351 of the Pabeo from that kit. So it's iridescent silver, and I'm just going to use the whole tube. I think it just adds a different dimension from the white when doing the wave, so... Just squishy it out. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a popsicle stick. Once again, that was 351, and then so you can kind of see how much I'm just going to add some flow troll to that silver. Okay, and then I'm going to do up some Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. In that one, probably. <laughs> and this one hasn't been opened yet, so I'm just going to open it. Alright. I'm just going to pour some. Probably quite a bit. In here. Okay, so that's our slough. So you can see how much is in there. So I'm going to put the same amount of flow trawl as I did paint for that one. And then I'm going to do a darker 
I was thinking of using this um, Craft Smart Pewter because I have a few bottles to use up um, for the darker. So let's see. That one's new. This one's almost finished. <laughs> Whoop. Popsicle stick. There wasn't too much left in that one. I'll just keep pushing it through, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so that is the Craft Smart Pewter color. And I'm just going to put the flow troll in. If you put a little extra flow troll, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we've got. And I usually just mix. Flow troll in with the paint. Makes it nice and good. These ones are actually fairly runny because they were like an iridescent color. And then you just add a little bit of water. just to get the right viscosity or consistency. <clears throat> so, there we go. So it's a little runnier than honey. Or kind of like honey, I guess. <laughs> it's looking pretty good for that one. So this one. Is the cobalt? Metallic cobalt blue. I just want to make sure to mix it really good with that flow trawl. So this one you can see is just kind of globbing off. So it's thicker, so we're just going to add some a little bit more water. So mix slowly at first because otherwise it just shoots out of the glass. <laughs> Getting better. a little thick so I'm gonna add a little bit more water and that's just the key is you can just add a little bit of water at a time so you get the right consistency if you add a little bit too much water and it's too runny um, you could just let it sit for a little bit or add a little bit more paint or flow trawl back in and should be fine. It's not too bad. I put a it's pretty it's a little thicker than honey right now, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. That 
it's looking better. And it just drips right off the popsicle stick. Okay, and then this one was the silver. Iridescent silver. <laughs> Is hardly even dropping off the popsicle sticks. You just add a bit of water. Better and then white. The white one's hard to see because, well, Floetrol's white and paint is white, but just mix it really good and shouldn't have any issues. And I might mix up. An even darker blue, I think, because that pewter, it's like a deep gray, but it's gray blue, but it's not quite super dark, so I might mix up some dark blue. And the white, we'll add a bit of water. Scrape the sides. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so there's those colors. But yeah, I think I'm going to mix up a dark color that's darker than that pewter. So let's use some. Um, I have a little bit of this light blue left, but I'm going to mix it with a little bit of black. And that should make up a nice <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> As it's like splattering out. I'm just trying to, I think I'm going to use up all the blue in this one. Okay, I try and squish it all out. <laughs> so that was light blue from uh, Artist Loft in there. I have this old uh, black that I have from Full Car, but I mean, you can use any black. <laughs> I'm just using up some paints, oh, which is mostly oily. There we go. I'll just grab a popsicle stick. And so when mixing colors, you just want to mix them first before adding Floetrol or anything to make sure you get the color you like. So you can kind of see this is kind of gray. It's almost a greeny gray and that might be because of the black that I use. Add a bit more. Black.
So you can kind of put it up against other ones, see what you like. And that's a lot darker. I think I want to add a little bit of hmm. Could add a little bit of this blue in there just to make it a little bit more blue than the light blue is giving. Probably a bit more black, I think. So a lot of times I'll mix up my own colors when trying to use up paint. <laughs> Too much. It's like a deep gray, like a charcoal color. But I almost want it still darker, so I think I'm going to switch to a different black. Sometimes you just got to experiment with. Um, different colors and stuff so this is my artist loft flow acrylic black just gonna add a bit of this in there and this is also a deeper hue blue flow acrylic so I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there <laughs> Almost like a Payne's Gray. Never mind that one. Okay, I'm gonna add some Floetrol. Mix that up. Now this is gonna look a lot lighter because the Floetrol has a white, obviously, comes like a thick white but it does dry clear so this will darken when it dries just in case you're wondering that's why it's good to mix the paint first so you could get the true color that it'll probably dry to you just want to mix it really good Nice Payne's gray kind of color. I like it. Add a bit of water, so I probably could have used a bigger cup. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Alrighty, so those are the colors I'm going to use for this horse one. I'm just going to check that we're almost out. Okay, so. Alright, so now I'm just going to add silicone to the colors. But I'm not going to put any silicone in the white.
So the ones with more paint, I added a couple drops. This one doesn't have too much paint, so I just added one and two and two drops of silicone. All right. And I don't you can I don't usually mix it in too much, like just kind of like that. I just pull some of the paint from the bottom up so it goes down. That's pretty much it. So now we can do the pour. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. Pull this back. Make sure that this is all down still. <laughs> I have my trusty palette knife for the big wave. Should be interesting. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pour some white over the edge here and stuff. So, <laughs> just going to do the corners and the bottom. Grab some paper towel. So this is the dark. I'm probably just going to have pour on the bottom. Let's see. I'm going to do some of this. So, <laughs> and this pretty blue, a bit of the silver on top. All right. Oh. <laughs> You can hear my puppies running around like crazy. So now we just start swiping. I think I'm going to start on this end. I think I'm going to add a little bit of white in here. I'm liking this motion here so far, looking really good.
looking pretty cool. Now I know I lost the horses, <laughs> but they're in there somewhere. Oh, there's some ears. <laughs> torch a little bit. Pretty cool. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with the horses, but <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to work. Once it dries a little bit, I'll be able to peel those horses off. <clears throat> Got some really pretty cells in here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let it dry a little bit and see if this will work. <laughs> Because obviously I'm going to have to get, there's some pretty webbing, get this dry so I could peel that vinyl off. So we shall see. I'm just worried that this might be too thick paint. But. Okay, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> and... Give it a little bit of time. Okay, hi guys. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I can kind of see the horses coming through here. Um, this part is kind of dry. This is still really wet. Um, so let's see. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I thought I would show you guys. I'm going to try and take this off. Let's see what happens. Some of it I noticed bubbled up. Well, you still see the horses, so that's pretty cool. So I'll throw this out. Looks pretty neat. So I, what I think I'm think going to do is come in with some paint and kind of fix, fix it up a little bit. <laughs> do 
So this part, obviously, looks like a super big <laughs> chunky part that's been cut out. <laughs> Other than that, it actually did kind of work with the horses. But yeah, I am going to come in and fix this. So i got to mix up some paints again. Okay, so I changed the camera angle a bit so I could get better at this. I've mixed up the same kind of colors. Um, pewter. I got the white. Cobalt blue, some silicone in them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pour white over here. I'm just going to fix up in where the horses are a little bit, and then I'm going to fix up this. So we're just going to pour some white over this area. <laughs> Got some paint brushes too. Okay, so this is where I'm going to fix some of the swiping at the bottom. <clears throat> Which means I need my swiper <laughs> and some paper towel. Better than that, the horses are looking really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour I'm 
computer. And some of the dark I mixed up. bit of white. I like it. That well, looks pretty cool. Let's fix up. Pretty. Okay, let me bring you guys down. So hopefully you can see the horses coming out of the wave. 